Hey guys, so today I'm going to be painting a Bible. This is something that I've been doing recently to worship God in a way that I just love to relax and kind of think about everything that he's created. These are the different tools that I used and the different paints I used. I'm just going to have the descriptions underneath them and then you can pause the video to see. But yeah, I've been doing this recently because it gives me a lot of peace and it's a way for me to just sit and think about God and reflect and kind of worship him through my art. I've always loved art in different types, whether that be acting, singing, whatever it may be, I love to do everything to worship God. And this is kind of one of those things is through my art and the things that I love to do. I'm not an artist, but I do love to follow videos and follow pictures to kind of create different things. One thing I've been doing with these Bibles is actually giving them away as gifts. I feel like it's such a thoughtful gift to give to people or people who are kind of on the fence about maybe their faith by giving them this gift. It's not as much pushing the Bible on people but rather giving them something that you created that's sentimental and comes from a place of love rather than this random book that they may not even be interested in instead of giving them this work of art that you put a lot of effort into and it makes it a lot more sentimental and meaningful we can worship god in so many different ways and this is just a beautiful way of doing it a peaceful way in Colossians 3 14 through 17 it says and above all these put on love which binds everything together in perfect harmony and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts to which indeed you were called in one body and be thankful let the word of Christ dwell in you richly teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God and whatever you do in word or deed do everything in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. So it's basically saying everything that you should do should be to honor and glorify God. And so whether that be through painting, whether that be through the words you say to others in your actions, it should be in love to honor God and to show him through everything that you do to other people. So while I was painting this, I kind of realized that everything needs to stay wet as long as you can. So you have to work really fast so that everything is going to stay wet. And that way all the colors will mix correctly because it's not a canvas. It is like a paper material. You have to be a little bit more careful because it'll dry quicker. Right now I'm mixing colors to then make the Aurora Borealis. And I'm using my hog bristle brush to do this. You need a kind of firm brush like this. Mine was actually an oil brush um, from Michaels. I wasn't really sure if that's exactly a hog bristle brush or not, even though that's what you're supposed to use. But that's all I could find there. And so I'm using this to slowly like make little streaks. Be really careful with it. And you can be slow with this part. You also do want it to be dry after you've completed the sunset so that when you do do this it will blend correctly. If it is wet then it's not going to really give you the same effect that you want in terms of after the sunset. When you are making the sunset it does have to be wet. One of my favorite things that I wish to see one day is an aurora. I just think it's the most beautiful thing that God has ever created. I just it's so beautiful and I want to see it so badly. I know it doesn't look how it does in pictures in real life, but I don't even care. I really want to see it one day. It just reminds me how creative God is, that he was able to create things out of nothing. Our brains can't even fathom nothingness, and yet he created beauty out of it. It's so hard for me to understand that people believe that all of this came from just chance and not a divine creator. I believe that he has intricately designed every little detail of this earth to the smallest creature in the sea, to every single star in the galaxy. A creator had to have created this. If you are interested in this, I highly encourage you to watch the debate between William Craig and Austin Dacey in about 2012 because it is 
really good debate. It has a lot of information on this, and I'm going to actually play a clip of something that William Craig said in the debate that really resonated with me. But before I do this, I do want to mention that when I was making this uh, Bible right here, I used a toothbrush that I had never used before, and so it wasn't really open, and so it splattered kind of all over the place. I don't recommend doing this. Use something that's an old toothbrush or something that'll make it go a little bit better and smoother and look more like stars and less like paint splatters. But secondly, it's not entirely clear to me that the assumption behind this objection is true, namely that macroevolutionary theory is true. It's far from demonstrated. In fact, it's fantastically improbable that this could have happened in the absence of a designing intelligence. This has been pointed out by Frank uh, Tipler and John Barrow in their book, The Anthropic Cosmological Principle. They list 10 steps in the evolution of Homo sapiens, each of which, each of which is so improbable that before it would have occurred by chance alone, the sun would have ceased to be a main sequence star and incinerated the earth. They estimate the evolution of the human genome, are, are, are the odds of this are somewhere between four to the negative 180th power to the 110,000th power and four to the negative 360th power to the 110,000th power. So if evolution did occur, it would literally be a miracle and therefore evidence for the existence of God. Psalms 19.1 says, The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. This literally describes an aurora and the stars in the sky. Everything that God creates is made to worship him. Nehemiah 9.6 says, You are the Lord, you alone, you have made heaven, the heavens of heavens, with all their hosts, the earth, and all that is on it, the seas and all that is in them, and you preserve all of them, and the host of heaven worships you. Everything is made to worship God and show his creation and show his creativity. I am not going to show the other side of the Bible when I paint it because it's basically the exact same as the side that I am showing, just mirrored. It's hard because my camera battery kept dying as I was filming this part. But basically I just touched it up after this and added a little bit more color to the auroras to give it more depth. So you just kind of want to eyeball how yours looks and make sure that the lightest part is going to be the inner part of the aurora. So it looks kind of like it is almost in a semicircle and flowing outwards into the darker colors so that the inside is going to be lighter. I would recommend to look up a picture of an aurora, that's what I did, and kind of copy um, the different ways the light reflects and how it goes from lighter to darker. And then I also did that you will not see me do in this video because my camera died. I added some of that light color around the mountains and underneath the mountains and in the water to kind of show more reflection and give it some more depth but you'll see it kind of in the end how it looks. Here's the finished product. I typically would do some calligraphy on here, but because I don't want to mess this one up because it's so pretty, I'm not going to. I'm going to have someone who's better at calligraphy do it. But you can always do that, like a Bible verse on the front of it or the name down the side of it. 
whatever you'd like to do. And after that, you're going to want to spray it with some Mod Podge spray. I specifically used the satin textured one. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me rant about the beautiful things that God has created. Please like and subscribe to my channel to see more content from me. I post kind of random things about my days and about God and college and just a bunch of different lifestyle stuff. I love you all. Thank you so much.